VPR star and RHOBH alum, Lisa Vanderpump, has announced that one of her restaurants is closing for good and explaining the reasons why. Vanderpump Roulette star Lisa Vanderpump has announced one of her restaurants is closing for good in July and explaining the reasons why. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills alum has become known for her West Hollywood restaurant empire, which has expanded throughout the years, at least partially due to the success of VPR. However, Vanderpump Rules Lisa Vanderpump already had to close one restaurant, Villa Blanca, in 2020 due to the pandemic. It's with heavy hearts that we announce that the lease at Pump Restaurant is expiring, the Vanderpumps told TMZ. After 10 years in business, providing beautiful evenings under our olive trees, Pump will permanently close on July 5th. Tammons reported that Lisa and husband Ken Todd chose not to renew the lease because the rent increased to a whopping $1 million per year. After successfully running 37-plus establishments for many years, this type of rent is untenable, the family stated. However, Lisa wanted to ensure it stays open through Pride Month promising to support the local community with one last hurrah. Thank you for the past decade of support. We have loved our staff, our patrons, and our time together. The statement ended. While Pump is closing, Tamanzu reported that Lisa and Ken plan to open two new restaurants in Las Vegas, following the success of Vanderpump Paris. In their statement, the Vanderpump family mentioned that they hope patrons continue supporting S.E.R., the flagship restaurant of VBR as well as Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz's TomTom, Tom, Katie Maloney and Ariana Maddox's sandwich shop, something about her, is also set to open soon. While she's still in business with Sandoval, because of TomTom, Tom, Lisa has overwhelmingly supported Ariana Maddox during Scandoval. Vanderpump Rules Season 10 has shown lots of drama over the Tom's new bar, Schwartz and Sandy's. Even before the Scandoval, VPR fans had issues with the strip mall establishment. After the affair was revealed, the bar was review-bombed by those angry on Ariana's behalf. While Lisa condemned the affair, she also scolded these fans for going too far. The backlash against both Toms has only grown in the weeks since, as new episodes make their actions look even worse. The Tom Sandoval connection isn't the only controversy surrounding Lisa and her restaurants lately. Before the closing was announced, Pump temporarily lost its liquor license. In the past few years, she's also been sued by former employees. But Lisa is still thriving in other ways, including attending the White House Correspondents' Dinner with Ariana and Lala Kent. While the Toms are less than ideal business partners right now, Katie and Ariana have more support than ever, so their sandwich shop appears poised to thrive. The Scandoval has also breathed new life into Vanderpump rules, with the biggest ratings in years, which could also equal more success on Lisa's part.